Magen Dong Umaga, everybody. Welcome back to the farm. We're gonna give you guys an update. It's been a couple months, maybe. Got my wingman B Log with me. Let's go check out. See what see what's new on the farm. Bader the Belgian Melanois, he's on a leash now. He likes eating my stags. <laughs> he likes eating roosters. Let's see here. Get this. Everything wants to mess with my roosters, even the cows. Get out! Yeah! Get that cow out of there, beloved. Get him, Mojo. Get him, Mojo. Yeah, so I just had the neighbor put two goats away because the goats were eating all my chicken's food. Now the, the baby cows are messing with my roosters. One of them had one of them pinned down on the ground yesterday. So this is a new area we just put in a couple weeks ago. Got some teepees up. These are my raptor hatch. Five and a half months old. We got some more teepees here we gotta put up. But I don't have the, any stags yet. Any more stags ready. Later! Hush! We went through quite a few batches of chicks since I've made an update last. <coughs> I don't know how many we have in here. Quite a few. These are my pure hatch sweaters. I'm doing good. We had a big outbreak on the farm. Three weeks ago, it rained for a couple of hours. And I don't know, I'm, all, I'm back. I got, all my chickens are vaccinated, but there's just these huge cracks in the ground from no rain. I just think some real, some bacteria from down deep in the ground came up. And, I don't know, I lost like, geez, 80 chickens, guys. Real punch in the face, but keep driving on. It's a pretty hen. I'm gonna breed her to this golden, golden boy over here once we get things rearranged. Quit that barking. Quit that barking, boy. He's a good guard dog, though, I'll tell you that. You have him outside, you drop a pin in our bedroom, he hears it. This is a new hen range. I've been trying to build for a month. Finally got it done. Doors, double doors. Look how they did this. Though. I think it's pretty cool. So, this is the new hen range. It's starting to get hot out this morning. Brand new feeder. Got Bromel and Bachai. Our new farm managers we moved into their house last week. Yeah, we'll put those waters, maybe one here, no one over there, so they stay out of the sun, so the water doesn't get too hot. Got our roosts up here. It's in the off season, off breeding season. I keep them in here, give them a break.
flies are getting bad because the mangoes are starting to drop. So we got mangoes on the ground everywhere. Made a big fire yesterday, burning all the garbage we had here. Fastback catch, pretty boy. A little nasty though. This is one of my stags I gave the neighbor. He's having problems walking. Uh, yeah, he's probably six months old. But uh, he he uh, he beat a four-time winner. Uh, Two-year-old. Two-year-old rooster, four-time four winner. He beat it. But I gotta get him. I told him I'm gonna. I'll keep him and I'll keep him and uh, get him healthy again. I give it back to him. Still no water, guys. It's been. I can't remember the last time there was water in the well. It's been a struggle lately. I'm turning a real Filipino with a taboo bath. We got uh, 88 new chicks hatched a couple days ago. So they're doing good. Yeah, but water in a well is non-existent. Water any here, anywhere here is it's getting hard to find. The river's dried up. The wells are all dry. It's tough. Tough living here. <clears throat> but yeah, we're, we're not even getting a good electricity here now. It's not enough. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an electrician. I don't know much about electricity, but I don't, I don't, we're not getting enough. <laughs> We're not getting enough power to power our air conditioner or like our microwave. You can turn our microwave on and it just doesn't heat things up. It's not getting enough power. That sun's shining now. I'm going to do a separate video on the... Uh, the tiny house. I'll do that later today with price and how much we spent on it and everything. The mangoes are starting to drop. I'm gonna start collecting them. Have uh, the girls cut them up and freeze them. I'm trying to make some uh, mango moonshine in my distiller. So all, the, all these mangoes, they bloom at like different times. Like this one has mangoes here and this one just sprouted new leaves so well the last video i made of the farm update we had a sow with piglets but somebody didn't think it was a good idea to cool down your sow when it's 100 degrees out and she died of a heat stroke piglets were two weeks old hey i'm trying to make a video piglets were two weeks old so she had to be the foster mom i'll show them to you here in a minute so our psi pump solar rig worked for about a week and now it don't work I don't know if the motor's broke or whatever, but electrician hasn't been able to come over here and check it out. There's no water anyways. Hey. Hey. These two girls are pregnant right here. What are they doing the next couple of days, right? Yeah. Both of them are doing the next couple of days. This will be their first First litter, so we're not expecting a lot. 
Oh, mud just laying in the poop. <laughs> my first time doing that artificial insemination. Yeah, she's doing AI artificial insemination, so she did that good. Both of them are pregnant. Yeah, now the neighbors, she's doing the neighbors and stuff too, so. Be nice if we get five each, first litter. First litter is usually small. Because I'm ashamed to even show you these pig pens around here. They're so dirty, but you know, you gotta have enough water to Give these, give all these pigs drinks. There's been enough water to clean good. Here's a batch of the brown piglets. They're getting big. And then uh, the 14 piglets from the mama pig that died. Unbelievably, they're all still alive. So she did good. So I'm have a cough. So, I'm giving them shots. Curious little guys. I'll have some bacon soon. I think we're going to slaughter one of those and keep it for ourselves. So, they had an excavator around the other day. So, everybody's digging uh, lagoons for their. Piggeries, uh, wife had hers dug out. I don't know if I like where she put it. I guess there's enough room to add on here. One more pen. Be careful, I don't fall down in here and break my neck. Pretty deep, probably 10 feet deep. Probably 10 feet by eight feet, 10 feet deep. And the well down here is completed, but once again, nothing ever goes right in the Philippines the way you want it. I had him dig this well out. Uh, five feet by five feet, because the bigger the well is, the more water you have. Went into town one morning went to get, uh, maybe pick up some baby chicks from the hatchery or something and I come back and they're almost done laying the block so I got a three feet by two feet well <laughs> so when we pump it out we get like uh, 55 gallons every I don't know four days but I've been double that if it would have made it the size that we dug it and I'd, People just don't understand things here. I don't know. Just... If you move here, you'll see. <laughs> what else has been going on, guys? That's about it. We took a little trip up to Clark, way up north. It was like a six-hour drive or something. Went to some casinos. I had to get out of here for a few days. And we had a good time. The Angeles City. The famous walking street. And uh, that's some good food up there. Just catered towards Americans. Watch your step, buddy. Don't fall in there. <coughs> All right, guys. That's an update. I haven't seen you guys for... You guys haven't seen me for a while, so the wife's been getting on me about making a video. So, here's a little update. And uh, stay tuned in the next day or so. And uh, we're going to do an update on the tiny house and how much we paid. And that's it, guys. Be long. Tell our viewers. We'll see you later.